<laughs> the spell of Darkova is still affecting me. I know what would happen, but my heart is tainted. I can't bear it. Like a wolf, my hunger eats away at my very core. Velvet, not even you are safe from my appetite for human flesh. This shall be my end. But I cannot rot like this. Over here, Leventhin. Now sleep. Dream of devouring all. Greedy minds have once again set this cauldron alight. It should know who its master is, even without the ring. Now, respond to my voice. The time has come to bring judgment upon the Earth. I am one with destruction! Absorb the power of every Fozon in the land! Now, annihilate this empty shell of a world! What a terrible sight. So this is what remains of King Valentine. Ingwei, you're alive? You still hide, coward! Are you any better? You fled from the Netherworld. How rude. Hard to believe. You share my noble blood. Oh, we are very much alike. We both lust for power. Power? What power could you possibly hold? Let me show you the Darkova. Relive Titania once again! Impossible! I'll turn your precious cauldron into scrap. Will you fight to the death? Aye, unpleasant, isn't it? The cowardly prince who destroyed his country will give his life to save it. There it is again. Someone is calling upon the power of Darkova once more. Stop! My blood is boiling, but the anticipation awakens a sick pleasure inside me. My heart is growing dark. Ah, here they come. That woman sends her servants to restrain me once again. King Galen, our queen who set your shackles has been sent into the darkness. No one shall interfere with the king's freedom once again. Then obey me, grave keepers. If you wish the power of darkness to survive, then obey the shadows around you. From this moment on, leave the dead. Make your way to Titania. But we cannot leave. The Queen blocked the path. What? Rest assured, King Galen. There is a way to escape. Who are you? I am your humble servant. My appearance has changed, but my loyalty has not. I am Beldor. A wise man. Are you aware 
that the Holia are able to traverse the border between life and death. As the new power figure in the Netherworld, all you need to do is command them. Alia, show me the way. Let us abominations leave and enter the living world so we can devour life. What's happening? The land is collapsing. What? Highness, the ocean rises. If this continues, tis only a matter of time until our land sinks below the waves. The prophecies begin. King Onyx! Your Majesty, what can we do? There is no going back now. We shall march inland. But the prophecies tell of our demise when we get to the World Tree. There is no World Tree! That story is a mere fable. We shall burn the forest away and prove that those prophecies are false. Inform all in the Fire Realm. The time to seize the world has arrived. King Odin, at this rate... Galen runs the Netherworld. Do we have any troops? Our infantry has been completely annihilated. The Valkyrie... The main gate is destroyed. The enemy is inside the palace. Ah. I knew this day would come. I made the Baylor for this. If only I still had it. Here they come. We must protect the king! Any warrior encountering so many Halya must become weak of heart. Why, tis Griselda? Have you lost your way in all this chaos? I have never done anything fatherly for you. Not once. If I could die for you, I would be satisfied. It seems that we can be together forever now. Are you happy, Griselda? You're so lovely, my child. As foretold, death triumphs. From the balcony, you can see the dark troops cover the mountain and beyond. The spirits shall soon arrive here. Red Nonival must be... Princess, remain calm. We must escape from here. I understand you must be worried about Oswald, who went to gather information. <sighs> Princess Gwendolyn, this way. He shall take you to safety. Miris, I'm sorry. Please fetch my spear. Princess Gwendolyn! I shall follow Oswald. No, you mustn't! Fear not. I am a Valkyrie. If it becomes too much for me, I shall fly away. Now, go on. Princess, 
If we are to meet, let us meet atop Horn Mountain. They're coming! Hurry! What? No. Griselda? Are you... here for me? Knock down the crown. Do not forget your role. From the epic poems. Griselda? This is Darkova. Could trying to fight this even be considered a battle? Oh. Ingwe, is that you? Did you use the secret magic? Answer me! Yes, it is true. Who's there? Let me introduce myself. I am Urzer's acquaintance. You're one of them. Is what you said true? Is this really Ingwe? Indeed. He used the secret technique in order to stop the cauldron. But little did he know that there is also a spell to control the Darkova. Control it? That's impossible. If there was... My father would not have been forced to kill my grandfather. After the incident with King Gallen, your father had us research the spell. Our work was successful. My father? What are you planning to do? Foolish questions deserve no answers. If you plan to stop me, you will become a victim of my loyal servant. Ingwe, I feel for you. You are innocent in this. My father also fought a demon beast with this. I'm not afraid. Just wait. I won't let you suffer. Oh! <laughs> 
of the land is dead, and Arion is sinking into the ocean. Do you remember the note? Mother's note? Perhaps destroying the cauldron is the wrong thing to do. She wrote the note for us. Perhaps she tried to tell us how to overcome the dangers. The cauldron guides the way with the final stone. If the core is reversed, the Fozons stored inside will be released. That might save us all. <sighs> Ingwe! Don't concern yourself with me, Cornelius. You're near death, too. But thanks to you, I was able to return to my own body. <laughs> Ingwe! Don't worry about me. Mother waits for me on the other side. She's sure to punish her bad son. This is your cowardly brother's last request. Velvet, do your duty. Now go. allow your corpse to fester in this world any longer. I'll send you back to hell. Tis the end. This is hell's new home. The prophecies say that you are my servant now. They also say that I cannot be defeated what? by you. There is a royal secret. 
the only one to kill me. Is someone of royal blood, so the prophecies state. Even if you are the shadow, a common warrior like you will never be able to kill me.
What is happening? My heart cries out. Why you? Only Titanian. Ah. Who was your father? I never knew my parents. Do not forget that. But a dragon once told me. My father was a man named Edgar. Edgar! I had considered that he would take the throne over his brother Edmund. The throne of Titania? But he chose to defy me and married that woman. He left resenting me and I knew one day he would try to take my life. This is why I had him killed in secret. <sighs> so, Edgar's son escaped. Twas inevitable then. My killer would be of royal blood. Destiny tricked me again. Edgar, he let me escape to the Fairy Kingdom. So I wasn't abducted, but was found instead. Like Melvin said, he said I was just a tool. But when he first found me and raised me, there must have been something there. Titania is sinking. The kingdom is dying.